let's discuss about uh, Oracle SCM overview. So Oracle SCM is actually a ERP which was actually made uh, by taking all the good things from different ERPs. So we have PeopleSoft, we have JD Edwards, we have eBusiness Suite. So what the drawback with those uh, ERPs with that they were on premise and Oracle want to develop something which is on cloud so that uh, there is a less cost for each of the customer and it can be controlled in a centralized way. So they came with up with a new ERP which was the uh, Oracle SCM and uh, in this what they did was that uh, they take the best out of each of the system. So if you work on a benefits of Oracle SCM it is totally based on Oracle business suite. If you work on a compensation model it is totally based on a people software. So there are different things which they have actually picked from all their previous uh, ERPs and they created this on cloud. So Oracle SM actually goes beyond your uh, normal HR tasks. So it is like the screen which you will see in the Oracle SM is like more uh, user friendly or user centric. Then uh, it actually takes care of, uh, uh, it actually includes a lot of middleware tools like uh, APM, like your Oracle Identity Manager. So the UI which you see actually interact with the large number of middleware tools. And those middleware tools actually interact with the Oracle database. So behind the scenes, a lot of things are happening. Then uh, there's a very tight integration between all those tools and the Oracle database and the UI. And uh, whether you work with uh, one module in the system or whether you take the entire application, the entire uh, available modules in the application. So you can also go with a coexistence. So if I speak about coexistence is that uh, maybe some of the functionality you are doing in a PeopleSoft and some of the functionality you are doing in the uh, Oracle SCM. So suppose that there can be a client in which uh, the core HR is actually taking care in PeopleSoft but the performance management is actually taking care into your Oracle SCM. So there is a flexibility to work in a coexistence environment. And uh, some of the major benefits of Oracle SCM is that one is user centric. So the screen which you will see is uh, very much user friendly. Then uh, the second thing is it is global. So in that case, uh, uh, you can actually implement one system for the multiple countries. So if you go for a different country, the actually the rules and uh, legislation actually change. So suppose the payroll of India can be different from the payroll of US. But if you're using Oracle SCM, each of the things can be taken care into a single system. Then uh, it is extensible. Uh, they, we have a lot of flexibility to add an extra field. We have a flexibility to uh, write some fast formula. So there's a lot of things which uh, can really help us to extend the system. Then uh, uh, throughout the screen, you will see there will be a lot of help icon. So it is very much information is there in the system. And uh, the system is also very much collaborative in the nature. So on a single item, a lot of person can work together. So these are the major advantage of Oracle SCM. So before I move to the next slide, any question on this? No. Okay, thank you. Now you will see upon the what are the different uh, modules which are available in the SCM. So if I talk about Oracle SCM, that is human capital management, then we have a core HR, then we have a payroll, global payroll, then we have a payroll interface, then we have uh, benefits. So again, for the talent, we have an entire different uh, uh, category altogether. So we have a performance management, we have a goal management, we have a compensation. In compensation, again, there is a workforce compensation and there is an individual compensation. Then we have a talent review and uh, each of the model also comes with a BI reporting uh, functionality. So either you can write a SQL or you can write some analysis and you can create a report out of a system. So, guys, can you help me? What are the modules you guys are implementing in Oracle SCM? So, we have implemented Core HR mm -hmm. and we have absence for some countries. Okay. I think that's two we have already implemented and we have in pipeline talent management OTL. Talent management for an individual country or it will be for the entire organization? It would be for individual country, I guess. Okay. And how is your recruitment taking care of? Care of. So you have this tally or if it is some other uh, uh, yeah, it's tag. It's tally. Tally. Okay. Yeah. And how the so integration is being done? No. We have a custom integration. Okay. Great. So now uh, we'll discuss about the different deployment options which is available in SCM. So most of the uh, client goes on 
cloud. I think you guys are also from cloud. So what happens in cloud is that uh, Oracle generally hosts the environment and they will give you a URL and a credential, a super user credential. And from there you can set up the system and you can start using it. All the uh, functionality uh, regarding your database upgrade or regarding your application upgrade and everything is actually being taken care by Oracle. So you guys might be receiving a notification that uh, your system will be down on this and this Friday or from this and this time it is being upgraded. So these activities are taken care by Oracle. So the entire SM actually comes as a software as a service product. That is what we call SaaS. And uh, uh, either you can host this application on a public cloud or on a private cloud. Cloud. So in a public cloud, what happens is that uh, same cloud environment is being used by multiple vendors. So maybe a client A will also have a application running on a same cloud. Client B will also be having the uh, this application running on a same cloud. But when it comes to a private cloud, it is like one cloud very much dedicated to a single customer. Then there is also an option to uh, have the uh, Oracle SIM on premise, like PeopleSoft or e business suit. So in that case, what happens? The customer is responsible for doing all the installation uh, thing. The customer is responsible for doing all the upgrades, uh, moving the environment from previous environment to the new environment. So everything has to be taken care by customer. Very few clients go with on premise option. Then uh, we have a hybrid option. So hybrid is like some of the modules you are having on premise and some of the modules you are having on cloud. Now we'll discuss about what is the major difference uh, we have if we have an application on premise or application on a cloud. So if it is on premise, everything is under your control. The entire system is behind your uh, uh, firewall and everything. So it is very much secure. If you go to cloud, any application on the cloud is uh, more on the risky side. Then the cost which is there on premise is very much high. So you have to take care of the installation. You have to have a team of administrator. Then you have to take care of servers and everything. On cloud, Oracle takes care of everything and the Oracle will give you a URL to log in and do the activities. So it is very much cost saving and efficient. Then uh, uh, if you go for on-premise, customer should have all these hardwares and softwares and everything, uh, the entire application. So they have to be you know, taking care of that. So they have to make sure that the server is running up and uh, it is running up. But in this uh, uh, on-cloud hardware and software, everything is on the provider side. So in our case, it is Oracle. Now on-premise, you can do any level of customization. You can create uh, new pages, you can create a new field, you can create a complete different uh, user interface. But if it comes to on-cloud, uh, customization is, is, it is there, but it is limited. So we'll see uh, what are the limited customization we have. And then uh, if it is on-premise, then uh, it is uh, limited, so you have to have uh, you have to do very much, a very uh, high level of configuration to enable it on mobile or enable it on a tab. But uh, for cloud, you don't need to do all these activities. By default, it is enabled. So any question on this uh, deployment model? No, I guess okay. we are good. Thank you. Then we discussed that uh, uh, we have a customization available, but the customization is in a limited way, which is available in Oracle SCM. So, Either you can, uh, suppose that if you want to capture any extra information in Oracle SCM, so you can use the concept of a flex field. So flex field is somewhere where you can actually use the, suppose that uh, in a screen, uh, you have all the fields and suppose that there is an extra requirement to add or to store more information, then you can create an additional field, what we call is a flex field. And after that, you can uh, save all those things into those fields. So that is like extra uh increasing your system capacity then you have a page composer so page composer actually help us uh, to make uh, changes on a field level so you can actually hide a field or you can actually uh, make a field mandatory or you can actually uh, uh, remove the field so all these can uh, be done with help of page composer then you have a process composer 
So this actually takes care of your approvals. So we'll see how we can do a BPM uh, approvals in a BPM and we can uh, set all those approvals system there. Then the last is report composer. So this is a place where we create reports either with help of BI SQL or either with the help of your analysis. Okay. 